Right, hi there. Uh, this is just a quick um, tutorial uh, which shows you how to use um, two pieces of free software. One being Inkscape, which is a uh, best best described as a sort of vector package, um, allows you to create uh, loads of creative vector vector shapes that you might want to use to create logos, um, web graphics, whatever uh, characters uh, like you see on the screen there. Um, and then we're also going to have a look at how we integrate that work that you do in Inkscape into into GIMP. Um, again, another free piece of software. So, it, you know, two really good um, pieces of uh, of kit that you can pretty much get so much out of, and it doesn't cost you anything. So, um, you know, I've been using it for a very long time now, and and they are great tools. Um, the tutorial is going to show you how to use Inkscape. We're going to just, I'm not going to show you how to create some vector shapes. It, it's a really, really straightforward package. So you can, on, and there are, there are other tutorials on my channel that will show you how to, to use that particular piece of software. But it's how we use whatever work we do in Inkscape, export it out of the software, and how we then bring it into GIMP and dress it up like the example that you can see on the screen there and what we're effectively going to do is is, is is look at how we have to manage the layers in order to ensure that we get this kind of uh, glow effect to any particular transparent PNG that we bring into GIMP because that's effectively what we're going to be exporting um, as uh, in, in Inkscape so um, this is an example that you can see on the screen we're going to effectively going to make exactly the same thing um, and in doing so you're going to see a few different tools being used to get it to uh, to work uh, right so um, the first thing I'm going to do obviously or, or what you would do is you would go into Inkscape and go and get your, your work that you've you've neatly and beautifully drawn up um, using uh, this piece of software now um, I've got a little character that I put through my portfolio um, his name's Little Geek and um, I've got a grey one, an orange one, and a purple one. I'm going to use the grey one today. Um, he's all done and dusted, so uh, I'm going to now export him onto my desktop. And the way to do that is you go to File, Export Bitmap, and I've got it at 300 DPI, um, ready for print. But I'm just going to bring it down to 150, so it's a little smaller. Um, I've already actually uh, given it a name, and uh, I'm just going to ensure that I export it to the desktop. Um, yep, I'm going to replace it and that is one of them done now what I'm also going to do is as you can see by the example is I've brought in Little Geek into um, into the canvas and I just wanted to show you how you can brand um, and your work and, but also add a, a little effect using um, the GIMP software so the way I'll do that is uh, again same little process file highlight your highlight the work um, that you want exported go file export bitmap um, I'm just going to again make sure that it's 150 dpi um, and get it exported right now um, once you've got your work exported just to show you what you've actually got is uh, you should have two uh, transparent PNGs uh, really good images to work with because anything you whatever background you put it on obviously it's going to show through um, great great format to an image uh, right so I've got my two pieces there ready to bring into IMP and um, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go to file and new and I'm just going to create a document that is 1200 in width by 900 in height right so there's my new document um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring a little GIMP in so rather than I'm going to go to f uh, little geek excuse me go to file open as layers and um, I'm just going to bring him in here and there he is. Um, he is a little bit big, um, so what I'm just going to do is lock the padlock on the scale. So I'll just quickly, I'm jumping ahead of myself, uh, hit the scale tool here, um, and then I'm just going to bring the size of him down, making sure very carefully that he's not going to lose any of his proportions. Right, bringing him uh, into the middle of the canvas as usual, and that's that's him sorted and now I'm going to bring my logo in so file open as layers um, and bring my new uh, my logo in that I want to to, to work with him and uh, I'm just going to again similarly 
scale him down so that he doesn't warp. Now that's as you can see here. It's a little. You've got to be a bit careful with this. Uh, the GIMP 2.8. Um, I've noticed in the one before, um, you can put your scales in through here and it automatically changes it. For some reason, it's not working uh, with the new one. So you've got to be a bit careful when you're scaling things down or up because it can um, easily warp. So I'm just going to try that again. Padlock it and pull down the top right hand corner, and that's a little bit better, right? So I've got uh, I've got my character, I've got my logo, um, and I'm now going to begin to start adding some effects to it so it looks a little bit more um, a little more glitzy. So uh, the first thing I would do is I'm just going to highlight the top layer, right click, and hit merge down. Now that's going to stick the two layers together because every effect I really want to be applied to both of those elements. So by sticking the two layers together, that's probably the best the best route. Um, uh, first thing, I'm just going to quickly drop a shadow. So light and shadow. So go to filters at the top, light and shadow, and drop shadow. Um, I've already set the blur radius to eight, the offset y to four, and offset y to uh, x to four as well. Um, and that should just keep an, a nice, neat, and tidy shadow, uh, which it has done. Um, now that's that sorted. I'm going to very quickly merge that down. And now this is where we start to make things look a little bit more exciting. Um, what you'll notice in the original example is obviously um, I've, I've given it this kind of sort of neon glow. Um, I think it looks quite cool. And it means that you can obviously uh, apply that to any form of transparent PNG that you like. So the way we do that is we just select the layer we're going to work on. Go to filters. Alpha to logo at the bottom. And hit alien glow. Um, now the one that you've seen there has got a, a blue glow on it um, as you can see there in the at the bottom of the screen um, I'm just going to quickly change that to something else so what have we got here okay so that's a yellow so that should uh, and uh, the glow size and pixel 150 that's quite nice and then I'm just going to hit OK uh, the only thing about this uh, this tool here is that sometimes this can happen where it takes all the graphics away. Um, so I want you to obviously be aware of that. So just hit Control Z so we get that back, and then Control Z again. And what we'll do is we'll just apply the the alien glow to the drop shadow, and not the two layers merge down. Um, I just wanted to put that in into perspective for you, just in case that that happens. Um, if you're working with um, a particular graphic, you can try and apply the the, the alien glow to it, it tends to take all the detail out of it. So um, a, a, a pre-planned mistake um, that I've just shown you there, uh, just to, to make you aware of, of the problems with the actual uh, filter. So right, select the drop shadow layer instead, go to filter, alpha to logo, and alien glow. Um, and literally, just one more time, um, hit OK. And that is how um, you go about creating a um, an effect on any transparent PNG that you choose.